Hello guys, uh, Seb here, back with another tutorial this time, again in Final Cut. Uh, this is just to show you how to do a a really, really popular transition when it comes to streaks. Um, it's when you see it goes, it's like this, this is an example. Like, instead of just skipping to the scope, it like goes into the scope like this in a black circle. I just figured this out a few, like a, an hour ago, just randomly playing with it. I've never really tried to do this before. Uh, but it's really simple and I thought I'd show you guys. So, so that's the example right there and I'll just delete all this. And um, I'll drag this clip again, I'll use this. And basically what you do is you find out where you want the transition, right? So I'll say from... Here, I'll split the clip, Command B, and I'll take this end right here, and then, oh, sorry, and then hold it like so you get that wave thing on your mouse, and then press down and drag it to the right. So I pull in the clip, and then you want to you want to skip until you get to the frame before he shoots. So that will be there, that frame. So without the transition, it looks like this. Almost the same, but it, does, it looks not too smooth, you know, not too... doesn't feel too natural. So, okay, what do you want to do? So you're going to add a transition, so you go over on this one, this square, which is the transition browser, and you drag down to you find circle, which is this one, and you drag that onto your where you want the transition to be. But as you see, if you just put it on, it's going to be slow and it's going to go the wrong way. So what you want to do is you want to first drag it, select it, press the uh, one of the edges and drag it down. So you make it faster. But this doesn't look natural on the scopes is what, is what comes up first. So you want to press it and then go up here to the inspector. And go from direction, take it from automatic to close. This will make a black circle appear, which will act like a scope because the scope is black. So, and when the transition is finished, you're already in the scope, and you'll and you'll shoot right at the moment it's done, so it'll look natural. So you can see here, it looks look natural, and maybe you can even make it a little longer. Oh, it's my phone. Sorry. Um, I'll drag it about a little more, so that works kind of better if you, because now you can notice it more. So that's basically it. Uh, this was a really quick tutorial again, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye.